now here chapter 1 introduction this topic covered in this snack side chapter now in this topic we will discuss something about introduction to trigonometry triangle properties similar triangle solving height problem Chapter 1 Introduction Topic covered in this snack side chapter Introduction to Trigonometry Triangle Properties Similar Triangle Solving Height Problem Using Similar Triangle Angle and Rotation Ray Measuring Angle 360 Degree Angle 90 Degree Angle 180 Degree Angle one radian angle in coordinate plane types of angle we'll discuss all these things in this topic let's see here step by step introduction to trigonometry we'll see here trigonometry is a branch of mathematics that studies triangles and the relationship between length of their sides and the angle between those sides here given as figure triangle figure of triangle a b c here a b is hypotenuse and angle b a c is theta this is adjacent this is 90 degree and this is opposite hypotenuse is always opposite to 90 degree so next see here triangle pro properties similar triangle triangle are similar if they have same shape but not necessarily the same size corresponding angles are congruent corresponding sides are in proportion example here see here given two triangle triangle a b c and d E, F. Sides given here A, B 20 cm, A, C 24 cm, B, C 12 cm. Here D, E 5, 5, D, F 6, E, F 3. Given this information in this both triangle. Now, for triangle ABC and triangle DEF, similarity ratio is given by. Now, AB upon DE is equal to AC upon DF is equal to BC upon EF. Here, 20 upon 5, AB upon DE, AB 20 and DE 5. So here 20 upon 5 AC upon DF is 24 upon 6. Here AC is 24 and DF is 6. So 24 upon 6 is equal to 12 upon 3 BC upon EF. BC 12 upon EF is 3 is equal to 4 upon 1. Therefore triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF solving height problem using similar triangle see here solving height problem using similar triangle example John is 6 feet tall but his shadow is only 25 feet long 
there is a tree across the street with a shadow of 100 feet. Sun hits the tree and John at the same angle to make the shadow. How tall is the tree? Now this is figure as per question. Now A, B, tree is X feet, D, E, M meter, zone is 6 feet, B, E, K, zone shadow is 25 feet and tree shadow is 100. So using all this information we will find solution let the height of tree be X feet. We have to assume this using similar triangles property for triangle ABC and triangle DEF. Here DE upon AB is equal to EC upon BC. That is zone's height upon tree's height is equal to zone's shadow upon tree's shadow. We get Jones height upon tree's height is equal to Jones shadow upon tree shadow. We get 6 upon x is equal to 25 upon 100. Here cross multiplying 25 into x is equal to 6 into 100, 600. x is equal to 24. Hence height of tree is 24 feet. Now here angle and rotation. An angle can be thought of as a rotating ray. Angle measure is generated by rotation about angle vertex from initial side to terminal side. An angle is in a standard position if vertex is at origin of x and y axis, initial side of angle lies along positive x axis given us here 90 degree 270 degree 180 degree 0 degree this is initial side 0 degree is initial side so here given 0 degree initial side 90 degree 180 degree and 270 degree Quadrant angle lies on the x and y axis 0 degree, 90 degree, 180 degree, 270 degree, 360 degree. Counter clockwise rotation positive angle, counter clockwise rotation negative angle. A ray A ray or half line is that portion of a line that starts at a point b on the line and extends indefinitely in one direction the starting point b of a ray is called its vertex here this is b starting point and this is also ray and this is also ray if two lines are drawn with a common vertex they form an angle one of ray of an angle is called the initial side and the other side is called the terminal side given here vertex two line joining here terminal side joining at vertex and initial side joining at vertex angle form known as alpha measuring angle angle are commonly measured in degree radian one complete rotation of a ray is 360 degree. Minute and second measure proportion of a degree. One minute is equal to 1 upon 60 of a degree. One second is equal to 1 upon 60 of a minute. 360 degree angle. Angle formed by rotating initial side exactly once in a Counter clockwise direction until it coincides with itself is said to be measure 360 degree. Here, initial line is rotating and again joining, same initial line is 360 degree. Vertex 
1 degree is equal to 1 upon 360 of a revolution. Ninety degree angle, an angle formed by the perpendicular intersection of two straight line, an angle of ninety degree. Here, terminal line, initial line, both intersecting at vertex and forming here ninety degree. Ninety degree angle is one by four of a revolution. One hundred eighty degree angle, a straight line is an angle of one hundred eighty degree, or half revolution here vertex initial line terminal line and both becoming single straight line one radian angle made by taking radius and wrapping it along the is of the circle one radian is 180 upon pi degree or about 57.296 degree Convert between degree and radian. Given an angle whose measure is d degree or r radian. Exactly. Given degree d exactly. Angle in radian is equal to pi d upon 180. Approximately angle in radian is equal to 0 0.1. 017d given radian r angle in degree is equal to 180 r upon pi angle in degree is equal to 57.3 r angle in the coordinate plane an angle theta is said to be in a standard position if its vertex is at origin of rectangular coordinate system and its initial side coincide with positive x-axis. Positive angle rotate counterclockwise. Here initial line, vertex, terminal side and theta positive. Negative angle rotates clockwise. Here, see here initial line theta is negative so this is vertex and terminal side is this this one is our negative angle now types of angle acute angle an angle that measures between 0 degree and 90 degree is called an acute angle this is theta between 0 degree and 90 degree that is acute angle right angle an angle that measures exactly 90 degree is called a right angle this is right angle 90 degree theta is equal to 90 degree obtuse angle an angle that measures between 90 degree and 180 degree is called an obtuse angle this is obtuse angle theta is obtuse angle between 90 degree and 180 degree a straight angle Here a straight angle, an angle that measures exactly 180 degree is called a straight angle. That is a straight angle 180 degree. Theta is equal to 180 degree. In this way, we have completed this topic, snack side topic also. Thanks.